Well, today is the windiest day I've ever had at this house. It's retarded windy. And of course, now that I say that, it's a slightly calm, calm point. And now the wind turbine's been surviving, but it's been producing up to, I have the brief five minutes I've been home, I've seen up to about five, 600 watts for sustained periods. There it goes again. It's tracking really bad. And I got bad news. I lost some solar panels. Just came at the right angle. Usually this is very, very uh, sheltered. I ripped off two of these members. The other members, I guess, uh, where I had the straps, the straps are weaker, but in these two spots, the members came right off. Oh, I got tons of damage. A little bit of damage on the roof. But, uh, not sure. I think this one's broken. Let's see here. I can't tell. It's got ice on it. I'm not sure if that one's broken or not, but the one under there is broken for sure. So, show you that. Just in the process of moving everything. Yeah, that one's shattered. In here, it came down and hit that one pretty hard. Anyways, let's see how many panels I have and what, how many I don't have. So, wind turbine just going nutso. Back and forth. Still making a lot of power, but the wind's coming around trees and it's not a great spot to have a wind turbine. I gotta move it soon. So, I cleaned up. Got one broken panel there. One broken panel there. I'm just glad nobody got hurt with it and uh, it didn't hit any of my vehicles. It came this way. It hit my house a little bit here, but that's no big deal. Just a little bit of tin. Bent my ace trough. It's no big deal. Bend it back. Not a huge deal. Clip came off. I can put it back on. Not a huge deal. It's too bad. Lost about, let's see, 100. Well, 300 bucks in panels between the two, so that's a $300 mistake. Yeah. Lesson learned. Tie those suckers down better next time. Pretty sure this panel's still gonna work for a little bit longer. Uh, so I can just leave it in the system. I'm gonna check it on a sunny day. But it, it is gonna go bad eventually. Same with that panel. Down there. And I have that panel over there. That one's broken from another time. I'm not sure how the wind noise is on this, uh, with this life-proof case. This video might be useless. I'm not sure. But uh, there's my surviving panels over here. Sheltered by the wind. Over here doesn't get very windy at all. That's why these panels have not been affected other than that one from those being blown onto it. I think I'm going to get rid of this crappy metal frame. I'm going to build a strong wood frame and it's going to be tilted so it gets the, the west sun. And then I, I'm going to actually make it strong and it's going to be anchored to the ground. And the panels will be screwed to it. This was supposed to be temporary from the beginning. I was uh, planning on replacing this thing. Not as soon as, not this soon, but uh, maybe a few months from now when it's warmer. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right, so here's the amps we got coming in from the wind turbine. This is at 64 volts. It doesn't seem to be quite as windy. It is supposed to die down tonight, but uh, it's supposed to be windy for quite a bit longer. So I do see more power coming in with this charge controller than I ever did with the classic. Classic didn't uh, didn't seem to like the wind turbine very much. Didn't matter what kind of wind curve I put into it. It just didn't work very well, especially for gusts. This seems to just pick up the gusts right away because it's PWM. It's just directly hooked to the batteries until it hits a certain point and disconnects. Here we go again. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. So I'm ditching the flat panels. I'm getting rid of this steel structure 
And this is where they're going temporarily until I build my gazebo where they're going to go on top of. Um, I'm going to be building a garage in the next few years that I'll put a bunch of solar panels on. I'm actually going to put a few on there as well. Uh, three on there anyways. Probably put three of the really big solar panels on there. Um, these are going to stay here for quite a while. Same with these. These are going to stay here. I'm going to replace this panel that broke. <coughs> then I might put an array here facing this way to get the evening sun. I just like putting them all on this flat roof because you don't see them. It's uh, nice not to look at them, especially when I don't have them uh, mounted really nice and looking neat. Um, most because it's temporary. The ones I'm going to put on that side over there, those are going to be uh, permanently done. I'll be doing those a lot nicer. But I still have a set of three. This is the panel that's been sitting in my garage that I had an extra. So I'll have a set of three. The only one I don't have is this panel. So this panel I might just leave in the system. I gotta check it. I believe it still works. I still need to check it though. Um, I'm gonna look for another. Uh, I believe this is a. What is this? A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, sixty cell. So I gotta get another sixty cell. <coughs> oh well. It's the way it is sometimes. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I'm just these are the ones I'm hooking up here right now. I don't we'll see if I get to these today.